Hey guys, it's Andy, and today I'm going to show you how to measure with the BLK3D. So when I first turn the BLK3D on, I'm going to see this page, and today I'm going to show you how to take measurements from an image. Um, so if I just hit Reality Capture, I'm going to see the view from the, the cameras on the back. So I'm going to move into position. So you can see in the, the main view, I can see the image from one of the cameras, and up in the top right corner, I can see the uh, image from the other camera. Um, so I want to make sure that my entire site is visible in both images. Another thing to keep in mind is that these cameras have a pretty wide field of view. So um, it's, it's sometimes not too difficult to have your finger blocking one of the cameras. So I want to make sure everything's clear. Um, if I need to, I can change the exposure level. And once everything looks good, I can click the button to take an image. All right, once I've taken my image, uh, you can see I have the option to measure here. So if I click that, it's going to very quickly process this stereo image. And once it's done, I'm all ready to measure. So I can see I have the, uh, a distance or an area button. I'm going to click distance. And now I can click any two points on my image. and it's going to display the measurement between them. A very cool function that I'm using is the snap tool. Uh, with this turned on, the BLK3D is automatically going to find corners of objects and snap directly to them. Uh, so if I zoom in here to this window, and I want to take a distance measurement, you can see that the BLK3D snapped directly to the corners of the window. If I'm taking a measurement without snap, um, and I happen to click on the wrong spot, um, that's really easy to fix. I can click on the measurement and it's going to bring up some crosshairs. So I can, I can actually zoom in and dial this in to the, to the, right to the pixel that I want to use. When I click done, it's going to update my measurement. Once I've taken all my dimensions, I can easily share this data uh, by exporting this out as a JPEG or a PDF. All right, uh, so that was a quick video on how to measure from images with the BLK3D. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.